All right, here we go. The 2023 Open Weight Finals of the Pan American Jiu Jitsu Championship live from Kissimmee, Florida, here on Flow Grappling. We got Nicholas Marigali representing New Wave Jiu Jitsu against Eric Muniz from Dream Art. This is the match the entire tournament has been waiting to see. Marigali. The match of the 2022 yes. World Open Class Final and Super Heavyweight Final. Nicholas, all submissions leading up to this Open Class Final at the Pans. Eric with, I believe, three submissions out of his matches. Nice little takedown attempt by Nicholas Marigali. Marigali's been working his judo with Satoshi Ishii at New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, more in the no-gi realm, but I imagine that it's transferred to the gi as well. Look for him to utilize some of those foot sweeps and uchimadas that Satoshi Ishii is known very well for. Both these guys have made this such an exciting Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championship. Tons of submissions between these two competitors. Been very dominant so far in all their matches. Marigali opts the pulling guard, looking for that lasso with the foot under the butt. Looking for that sweep that we saw many, many times earlier today. Muniz maintaining distance. They're gonna get reset. We talked a bit earlier how both these guys have good length. Even though they're heavier guys, they're both relatively long and they use that so well to sweep and off-bounce their opponents. So it's interesting now that they're both competing against one another and some of those length advantages are no longer there. Mercalli circling in his feet here. Mercalli trying to etch his name in the history book of jiu-jitsu as one of the greatest of all time certainly regarded as the top dog in the sport right now yeah it's interesting that marigali is actually going for his first pan black belt title last time he competed at the pans was 2017 took third in the open class has not returned to this competition since but came here to make a statement and so far he is doing just that all submissions Mergali trying to climb his legs up for the omoplata. Muniz doing a good job of defending, standing up on it. Cannot let his knee bend so he can get his shoulders to the floor there. That's what he does not want to do here. The closer Nicholas can get his hips to the mat, the easier it's nice, going to be to beautiful. sweep. Nicholas tr trying to transition. Looks like he's looking for a triangle. Marigali switching Omoplata to try and go attempts here. Two and a half minutes into this male black belt open class final. Nicholas Marigali working this Omoplata on Eric Muniz. Nicholas, the ultra heavyweight champion today. Muniz, the super heavyweight champion. This is a rematch of the 2022 Worlds open class final and also the super heavyweight final from that event as well. Nicholas maintaining that grip with his left hand, that cross-collar grip. Trying Less to pull himself closer. Less than seven minutes to go here. Marigali and Muniz. Scooting his hips closer, trying to make that omoplata tighter. Muniz looks like he's got his right knee yeah. in between the legs. That's going to help him create some distance and at least avoid the triangle. Marigali has got to be careful because if Muniz passes that leg to the outside, look at the flexibility of Muniz, that, by that the way. Unbelievable. Yeah. Palm uh, his leg inside. That's what I was going to say. Uh, Muniz could actually could go for the back or now, not anymore, but now he's looking to get back on the top. He's escaped the position. Marigali. Nice. Shooting at Muniz, but sorry, yeah. Ricardo. No, no worries. I, I love the way that Marigali just shoots the triangle, shoots on Plata, uses it to sweep, come on top. Very, very smart strategy. He's got sleeve control, controlling the leg, double trouble there. He's controlling uh, Muniz's elbow as well, holding the collar. He's just got him wrapped up exactly where he wants to be. 
Interested to see where he's going to go from here. He's still got that arm controlled in the omoplata. Sometimes you'll see competitors do a little back step and try and get the triangle. I don't think he's going to do that with Muniz, though. It's a little too loose. Muniz has some really good uh, counterattacks there. Up and yeah. A lot of his own. Nicholas pulls his arm out. So this is where Nicholas has to be careful because Muniz's guard, as we know, is, is very dangerous. Plays that kind of lackadaisy, um, you know, lasso guard there. But it's it looks relaxed, but it's all to set up. And nice Muniz now shooting on the triangle, attempt. yep. Halfway through this one, Nicholas up 2 nothing. Use that omoplata sweep to score those points. Also up an advantage. Nicholas, all submissions leading into this final. Eric had quite a few as well. Both these guys have put on tremendous performances. Nicholas looking to stack now, really lifting the hips, using that grip on the pants. And he's completely folded underneath Marigali there. Like you notice Nicholas raised the hips up with his with his right hand and then his left hand went right to the collar on the far opposite side. It's a great controlling position there. And he's just got him folded. Yeah, Muniz does have incredible flexibility, especially for his size, but like we've said, no matter what type of flexibility you have, it's still not comfortable to be stacked like this. Especially for long periods of time. Three minutes, 37 seconds left in this match. Marigali up two to nothing against Eric Muniz. Nicholas maintaining his pressure in this stack position. He's got that grip on the lapel with his left hand. Trying to keep Muniz's hips elevated using that grip on the pants. Nicholas looks like he's past the legs. Muniz does a good job recovering. Muniz, lapel around the leg. Almost looked like he was going to sit up for a single there. But he's got control of that leg. Marigali doing a great job with that overhand grip, similar to what we saw Felipe Andrew doing earlier today. Now going yeah, to the no. back is Marigali. Eric Muniz, standing position. He's got to watch the counter throw by Marigali here. But Marigali's got that, or sorry, Muniz has the collar on that leg. That's a very good position to try to take opponents down. Yeah, he's got the lapel fed through the leg. This is a takedown situation, so if Muniz is able to end up on top, he'll score two points. Coming up on two minutes left in this black belt open class final. Nicholas trying to do that throw that we saw him try earlier. Oh, and Muniz. Muniz there with the takedown attempt, but Marigali counters. Two points for Nicholas Marigali. Now he's looking to free his leg. Marigali passes the guard right into the mount. Three points for the pass, four for the mount. Marigali. Nicholas in command of this match, up 11 points now. Marigali with a head and arm control here. What a huge moment in this match. Yeah. Nicholas counters that single leg attempt from Eric Muniz. Passes the guard, gets to the mount. And now he is going to work to get this submission. This is the last one he needs for a 100% submission rate here at the 2023 Pans. One minute, 10 seconds left to go in this match. Nicholas Marigali mounted on Eric Muniz. Lots of pressure. He's got a good position, too. Muniz's elbows above his head. Let's see if Nicholas tries to switch to a head and arm choke. He's walking that arm up, trying to get his head on the opposite side. He looks like he has the grip. Let's see if he dismounts to his left to try to get this finish. Nicholas is putting everything into this. He is trying to walk that arm up. 
35 seconds left in this black belt open class final. Nicholas Marigali trying to get another submission. Here he goes, walking his legs up. Bonice escapes his elbow, trying to escape now, but Marigali just too good, too dominant. He's not giving him an inch. 17 seconds left from becoming the 2023 double gold Pan American champion is Marigali. Marigali looking to the crowd, allowing Muniz to escape here because he knows he's got it in the bag. Three seconds away, and there it is. Nicholas Marigali is the 2023 Pan American Open Class and Division champion. Dustin off the crowd, putting it back on his head. The king of jiu-jitsu in the gi has returned. And what a statement here. Goes and thanks his coach, John Danaher, in the corner there. An amazing and very dominant campaign, both in his division and in the open class, by Nicholas Marigali. Nicholas Marigali, ultra heavyweight and open class champion here at the 2023 Pans. Both of these guys put on amazing displays of jiu-jitsu this weekend. Got tons of submissions. Congratulations to Nicholas Marigali and Eric Muniz for delivering such incredible matches filled with tons of submissions. And your 2023 male open class champion is okay. Nicholas Marigali representing Enzo. And there it is, your 2023 open class champion, Nicholas Marigali, the man claiming to make the Gi great again, has done just that with two gold medals here at the 2023 Pan Am Champion. Congratulations, Nicholas Marigali of New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. Let's take a look at the replay here. We saw the Oma Plata utilized to sweep and get on top by Marigali. Switching back, almost looked like he was going for the triangle there. He was able to smash and put a ton of pressure on top of his opponent. This was the defining moment of the match. Yeah. Eric trying to finish that single leg. Nicholas reversing the position, coming up on top, scoring two for that takedown, then passing straight to the mount. Dusting off the crown, putting it back on his head. The king is back. Marigali here, having some words with Coach Danaher of New Wave Jiu-Jitsu. 